Good morning, National Dares. It's Mrs. Erickson. Today is Wednesday, September 7th. It is the 250th day of the year. There are 115 days left. Happy National Acorn Squash Day. On September 7th, National Acorn Squash Day celebrates the autumn flavors found in what is also known as pepper squash. Even though it is considered a winter squash, acorn squash belongs to the same species as all summer squashes, including zucchini and yellow crookneck squash. The most common variety comes in a mostly green outer shell, often with a splotch of orange, Mrs. Erickson's favorite color, on its side or top. However, varieties including the golden acorn and the white acorn offer gardeners and cooks options. This versatile squash also grows in variegated color. The acorn squash resembles its name in shape, an acorn. They usually weigh between one and two pounds and generally grow between four and seven inches long. This hardy squash also keeps for several months, making it a great item to store for yumminess all winter long. Just be sure to store it in a cool, dry location. Today is also International Day of Clean Air, National Feel the Love Day, National Grateful Patient Day, and National New Hampshire Day. Well, we all know you can cook an acorn squash, but did you know you could make a sunflower out of one? Gather the following supplies. You'll need an acorn squash, of course, yellow paint, brown paint, a knife, a fork, and a piece of paper. All right, let's get started. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to cut off the top of the acorn squash. You wanna cut about one inch down from the top. Squirt out some yellow paint onto a paper plate. And if there's not a long enough stem to hold onto on the top, you're gonna to want to stick a fork in it that you can use as a handle. And you wanna coat the entire bottom of the piece of acorn squash that you just cut off until it's all covered in yellow paint. And you're gonna use it like a stamp on your piece of paper. Press it on there really good, and then spread around in the middle if the paint didn't spread very well, because that's where the seeds are, so sometimes the stamp doesn't work in the middle. And then using some brown paint, you want to make dots with your fork, or you can spread it around and kind of like pull the paint up to make it pokey. And when you're done, it looks like you've made your own sunflower. How great is this one? Then you can turn it into a card or a picture, whatever you want. Okay, National Dares, they didn't have an acorn squash costume. So we did a sunflower costume, which ties in with our awesome craft, doesn't it? Show them how handsome you look. Say, look at how happy I am. I'm a beautiful sunflower. You could turn this into a card or a picture or a picture of my cat. Keep smiling, National Dayers. Have a wonderful Wednesday, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye. It's time for super spectacular shout outs. Today's shout outs start us off with Mavericks and everyone in the third grade class at Salinas City Virtual Academy in Salinas, California. Next up is Mrs. Pollock and everyone in the life skills class at Yoakum High School in Yoakum, Texas. And our third shout out today goes out to Ms. Troutman and everyone in the CBI program at Johns Creek High School in Johns Creek, Georgia. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for your support. I hope you loved your shout out. Teachers, if you'd like to get your class a shout out, just complete the Google form. The link can be found below this video in the description. And here it is, our updated super spectacular shout out map.